Hey YouTube, so today we are talking about the five things that we're doing with Little Gorse and the top five things that you could play with your puppy at home. Now, Little Gorse, oh I know, I know, she's about 12 weeks old and so she's learning a variety of different things, but if we had to boil it down to the five things that we're working on, the first thing we're working on is actually her being close and wanting to be close. So we're spending her daily food allowance on actually her pinging back to us. So I'm leading her away. When she bounces back to me, I'm feeding for being on me. Now I'm you might away. say, <laughs> why is this useful? And do I even want my dog to do this? Actually, here's the thing. And this is really important. Little Gorse is a dog that definitely will go out there investigating just like your dog. Yeah. She may look little and cute, but she will definitely have one of those uh, very distanced opportunities at points and she may not want to come back. This is your recall. This yeah. is a dog who's going to want to hang out with you. This is a dog who you can let off lead. This is a dog who you can enjoy wow. with pleasure. This really is your future recall opportunity. Telling you a really, really quick story. I went and hired a, a venue the other day with my dogs at a training facility. And I was quite shocked that we were training in one corner of the facility and uh, the other three dogs in the other corner of the facility would not leave the fence alone mm -hmm. where we were. They just couldn't keep hold of their dogs. Yeah. They could not keep them with them. Yeah. Even in a big fenced area, we were in a small fenced area, they couldn't keep their dogs back with them. Yeah. That is what Tom's working on right there. And you know, we're working with a little mini Dachshund here and this breed have got a reputation for being independent and untrainable. And the reality is even just from seeing little Gorse there, she's very willing, very keen, because we're working with games rather than force. Now, the second thing that little Gorse is working on are actually some basic tricks with her food. So we might, for example, do a little spin. We do a little spin. We might do a little spin this way, a little spin this way. And this is just her learning that actually it's really fun to work with her owner and work for her food. And when we're developing this relationship, we are actually developing a partnership. We're developing communication. We're developing adding layers of games in. It's all really, really, really important just to get her actually realizing that Tom's where the party's at. That's where the party's at. And actually, this is communication yeah, central. Clever girl. And again, we're looking, is she with us? And if she is with us, then, then we might throw a piece of food away while I reload. Now, the next game that we've been playing a little bit of is middle. And so literally I'm bringing her around, feeding, throwing a piece of food out. I'm bringing her around, feeding, throwing a piece of food out. Hi, bringing her around. And she's running fast for her little legs. Uh, bringing her around, feeding. We might, we might then, oh, you're gonna do a bit of leg weaves, interesting. Bring her around, feeding bring her around feeding. And this is just a great way of being able to recall her on walks without it being a bad deal, without it being, you know, you've got to go back on lead. You've got to, you know, be picked up, right? And also notice when I'm picking her up, I'm checking that I've got her permission. So she's putting her feet on me, right? Um, or she's eating from my hand and I gently scoop her up and then just support her in my arms and see that she is quite happy with that. Now, how many have we done? Three? Three, Three. brilliant. So next one that we might think about is a boundary. So actually Gorse learning that it's cool to be on a bed and be calm on a bed. I know it's a weird like, this bed. This is a high bed for me. She's Look like, at this her. is a very strange this bed. This is a new big Hi. bed, <laughs> different to my house bed. Yeah. Hi, and she's never seen this one before. And actually, Hi. oh good girl. And so it's quite a good one to show you that we, how we get them used to it. And what we might do is just, first of all, get her moving around on the bed. And this is all and very new. It's <laughs> actually very good for you to see a dog who yeah. hasn't seen this bed before. I know that wow. you guys always ask to see yeah, a dog that hasn't <laughs> seen this. And you can see that maybe she isn't completely comfortable. That's okay. Wow. Tom's going to work through it. And that is the power yeah. of games. Games will allow you to do that. Wow. Uh, and so quite quickly, you'll end up seeing that she is okay with it. Um, yes. Woo. <laughs> and you can see that this is all loads of fun, but actually she's learning a really important skill. She's like, it has other dog smells on that. <laughs> um, she's learning a really important skill. Wee! <laughs> Clever girly. And again, I'm just popping food on her nose, 
gently scooping her up and she's back in my arms. So the fourth thing that we're working on is actually her being comfortable being on a bed. This is totally new bed um, for her. Her actually staying on the bed. So already at 12 weeks old, while we're eating dinner, she's lying on her, her boundary in the kitchen and she's you know not under anybody's feet, which obviously we have to be careful of because she's so tiny. And also she's not you know doing all kinds of other things because she is being on that bed. I think one of the others, Tom, that I think everyone would love to see, and I'm pretty sure you've done a bit of it, but if you haven't, it's a great thing to show. How about a tiny bit of self-control, mm -hmm. a little bit of maybe a mouse, yeah. a mouse or, and I think this game as a top five or one of the things that we might do with puppies, it is an impulse control game. I wouldn't do it if your dog's got no desire for what you're using, but of course does have desire. And a little yeah. bit of this is quite nice, especially where you need a level of, sort of impulse control. Where did it go? Then it went. Like it ran away, it ran yeah, away. There, there we it go. Hi, so we're popping it down. We're caging the food. And whatever she's not getting, <laughs> she's not getting it. Then actually we are, we are then sending her to get a little bit, the mouse runs out of the cage. Ready? Ready. Ooh, mouse is gone. Ah, <laughs> it's gone, quick. <laughs> and what I'm doing also with her is just balancing it up. Whenever I add a rule with her, and then balancing it up with loads of fun so that we keep the energy, which again, this breed, this breed know what a good deal is. They know what a good deal is, they know what a bad deal is, and it's about working with them and rather than them working for you. They may be little, they're small but mighty, and the thing is, we see so many dogs of her breed, her type, that can never go off lead, or that mm. bark at other dogs, or that lunge at other dogs, or that potentially chase other dogs, or yeah. go at distances where it makes them never possible to be off lead. And for us, our mission is to reach, reach as many dog owners yeah. all over the world as we possibly can, mm -hmm. knowing that teaching games at whatever age and stage your dog is can really supercharge your relationship <laughs> to the point that you have an amazing life with your dog just like little gorse here so if you know somebody who would benefit from this video then share it with them subscribe to our youtube channel because there'll be a new installment next week and we will see you then Remember, Game Changers, whatever the dog owning struggle, there's a game for that. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe to our channel. And check out our new 25-day online dog training challenge. Watch the videos, play the games, transform your dog owning struggles. As a loyal YouTube subscriber, you can get a 70% discount through the link in the description below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the number one most transformational dog training podcast on iTunes and Spotify, the Sexier Than a Squirrel podcast. And remember, to follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more live teaching, video content and free training using the links in the description. Blah!